discharge, the amount of water in the river channel exceeds capacity and spills onto the floodplains, as you can see in this photograph here. There are physical factors affecting the flood risk. The first one is precipitation, basically anything that falls from the sky. If you consider torrential rain or heavy periods of rainfall being a great physical factor to increase flood risk. The next is geology, what the rock is made out of. This example is clay. If rock is made out of clay, water cannot infiltrate, it runs off the surface, this reduces lag time and increase, fl increases flood risk. The next one is relief, the shape of the land. Steep land is going to have increased surface runoff. An example we can use is Sheffield, which is surrounded by seven steep hills. There are also human factors affecting the flood risk. The first one is urbanisation, which is the proportion of people living in cities. Urbanisation means surfaces are covered with impermeable surfaces such as tarmac and concrete. This water cannot infiltrate, it runs directly to drainage systems which take it to the river, again reducing lag time. Deforestation, cutting down of trees for maybe housing projects. This release reduces vegetation interception, so when the rain comes from the clouds, it doesn't hit the leaves before hitting the ground, it goes straight to the ground, straight to the river. The final one is agriculture. When we plough the ground, we create these channels for the crops called furrows. This means that water can direct itself directly to the river.